Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to have a go at making slightly my version, slightly the proper version of a cauliflower cheese. As you can see I have got a cauliflower here, a bit big than what I wanted but the smallest. Now I know a lot of you will say, oh throw the leaves away, but I like my leaves in my cauliflower cheese. So all I'm going to do is, I've got a knife somewhere, little one, the big one, that's it. So all I'm going to do is turn it over and I'm going to slice the leaves off. Let's see what I'm doing, can't you? Doing this on my own again. Um, that's it. Slice the leaves off, as much as of the leaves as I can get off. But slice the leaves off and I'm going to put the, I'm going to chop them up obviously. What should I, no, I'll just leave them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them in the pan. So I will show you once I have, that's not a leaf. Once I have got, uh, I don't know if I should do that one. Uh, once I have got all the leaves cut off, and put in the pan I will show you I mean, these leaves aren't coming off very well but uh, but yes uh, I'm going to put these leaves can you see these leaves these leaves I'm putting them in a pan <laughs> no you can't see the pan but I'm putting them in the pan I will show you once it's all done as you can see the cauliflower leaves are in the pan Yes, they've had a little wash, that's why there's water. See the water dripping already off them. But yes, so I'm going to cut the cauliflower up and put that in with the, well, with the leaves. So now I'm going to cut, I've only got half the cauliflower. I don't see point in using it all because it's only a small dish I've got. That there. And cut the small, small chit, ch no oh, cheese. I want to say trees out. Cut the small trees out, and that's it. Come on, that's it. All I'm going to do is is cut this cauliflower, the leaf there. Pick that off and put that in the pan. Um, all I'm going to do is just cut all these to make them very small and uh, well like you've seen me cut some before. Um, put that there, that's not there. So I put that bit there as well. So I'm going to cut these well like I'm showing you now. I'm going to cut them small, make them into small little trees. When I did this in Norfolk years ago, oh my god, I don't know how many years ago I did it. Um, they were, um, the, the cauliflower was put in full like that. Um, but I, I prefer it cut up small. Now I don't think there's enough, yeah you can see, I don't think there's enough cauliflower in there so I'm going to get the other half. I'm not putting all this in but the leaves that are on it I'm going to leave and I've been led to believe that this middle bit is called pith. Um, I've known this for years but I've never wanted to say it just in case you call it something else. Now, I, I would call it, personally, I would call it the stalk because it's in the middle and it holds it all together, but never mind that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these trees off and I'm going to put a few more in the pan and then I'm going to cook it. Now, I'm going to put some water in that and boil it. But the way I did mine originally, I didn't bother boiling it. I just whacked it in a dish, whacked the cheese on it, and that was it. Shoved it in the oven and cooked it like that. 
but that's not the way to do it obviously as I have watched a video of it and it's completely different from what I did there were no parmesan cheese on it but I don't know if you can see that yeah but I'm going to put some parmesan cheese on mine so like I said I'm going to put some water in that and I'm going to boil the live fat in it well I'm not going to boil the live but I'm going to boil it until I make the sauce as you well you can't see but the pan is on and I know a lot of yogurt say don't put it in cold water that's the only thing we was taught whack it in a pan whack water on it let it boil all together so anyway I've added a little, little I've added a little salt to it so it uh, hopefully gives it a bit of, a bit more flavour first it says this is the bit that I haven't done before so this is all new to me so it says to turn the ring on am i doing the right ring that's for the bottom one yeah 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 and fuck, that's hot before i even got going that's butter and it said to let the butter melt now i know what we had problem we had last time with the dish this one Brand, new, brand newly bought this morning, it's a pot one, it's not a really plastic one, but the other one did actually feel like pot. So I'm going to get me oofa doofa and let the butter melt. Cheers to mind, got a spoon instead. So I'm going to turn that down and <laughs> sat on the bloody instructions. Not a worry, not a worry, not a worry, not a worry. I do say to oh, add the flour gently. I think there should have been more butter in that. But I am just following the recipe for this bit. Is that cauliflower boiling yet? I think it is, yeah. I'll just drop it all in. Then it says to add milk. It does say to add full cream, full fat milk. I can't stand full fat milk. Makes me feel sick. What it did when I had it at a lady's house anyway. And the only ingredients when I was cooking was salt. But now, they've come out with some other ingredients, which is... Oh, take the lid off and open the new jar, you silly girl. I can't open it, wait a minute, I can't open this jar. I've opened the jar and it, I'm, I'm adding some parsley to it. I keep stirring it, keep stirring it because you're going to get lumps in it. Don't be silly, I'll stop it. Now I'm going to add a bit more milk to it. And the video I watched, she poured her little milk in at one go. But I'm not her. I think there's going to be too much juice for that to pour a little tin, tray, dish, whatever it is. You can see what it is, I've just shown you it's pot, but whatever it is, dish, tin, it's not a tin, because tin is like a silvery colour, so it's a dish because it's, well it looks like a dish. Right, rest of the milk in, drip, 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 that's it, ow! In that app, I uh, turn your heat up a little bit, okay? So I'm turning the heat up because I've now got to add the favourite ingredients. The favourite ingredients. The favourite ingredient. Is that number four? That's number five. No, that's number six. I can't tell. Can't see a bloody thing. 
and here's a shirt. I need my glasses. The main ingredient to add is cheese. Now, I didn't find out until today if you had bought grated cheese already grated, it wouldn't melt in the pan. But because I bought the cheese, it says to buy extra strong cheese. And you know I like extra strong cheese. So what I'm going to do is, is that boiling? Yep. Shall we turn it up? It's on number six, isn't it? What number is it on? I can't see any of my glasses. Well, it looks like it's warm, hot. I want to see it boiling. The, the, the cauliflower's boiling. The cauliflower's doing what I want this to do. So, are you going to boil or am I going to... Yes, yes, we've got a boil, we've got a boil, we saw a boil. So now, oh you can't see. Now, oh, the cheese goes in. In you go cheese, cheese, go on, in. In you go Mr Cheese. That's it. Take down to number five. Now this cheese, if I'm doing it right, should melt. Oh yes, it's melted. Oh good, because it said to melt it to, to grate your own cheese, and I did. I grated it. Oh god, that's getting thick back. It said it would in the video. So take it off. Take it off. Turn it off. No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't boil over like that. <sighs> did you see that? So anyway, now the uh, cauliflower is bubbling away I'm going to test it to see if it's cooked now I've just tested the cauliflower it's not done yet well some of it is done um, push it further on shift your oven glove don't have that in camera shot um, so yes I've let this sauce go cold cheese sauce go cold um, well oh it's been on that so uh, I'm just well I'm just gonna let that boil a few more minutes and then I'm gonna put it in this pot pot dish I keep doing that end up breaking in half but yes and then I'm gonna put it in this pot dish and well it should be well we'll see how it goes now I have just tested the cauliflower again and it's done so might be best to drain it first and then pour it into the dish instead of leaving it in its water now you've got a full, full view of everything so I know you're going to say oh don't put green in with it but I had it, I did it first time and I will do it this time. So, there's still a bit of water left in there but it doesn't matter. And I think, do you know I think I should have done all of the cauliflower? Oh, not a worry, I don't matter, I don't matter, I don't matter. Oh, I don't know though. It's filling up nicely now. So the cauliflower can be blanched and put in the freezer oh, green green where's more green I want more green that uh, that green that was on the cauliflower get off get up do you know what? I will not tell you again that cauliflower, that green on the cauliflower was the only one, that it was the only cauliflower that got the green on it. I went searching now and I asked the woman if she got any extra green for the cauliflower and she says only what's on it. So I had to buy it with a bit of, it's not much, you see what I mean? There's not, you don't get much green on your cauliflower, do you know? In, years before you could get a good cauliflower 
with loads and loads of green on it now it's as though it's a, a sin well I don't know how much of that you've seen but uh, I put the cauliflower in I put the sauce on I've just put some parmesan cheese and now the first time I did this I didn't put any parmesan cheese first time I did this um, I put parmesan cheese on but in the video that I watched for how to do how to do it after I've uh, recently she didn't put parmesan cheese on but I think it's better now I know it's all been cooked but I'm going to put it in the oven for about another 10 minutes well that's what she said anyway 10 minutes and it should cook I don't I'm not sure if she did hers from I, don't, I can't remember anyway because it, like I said I watched the video a long time ago and as I said I've made it myself before long before well long time ago so um, so I'm going to put it in the oven and leave it for 10 minutes and hopefully it should turn out <laughs> exactly like the first one I can't wait I really can't wait I just want to clear something up everybody keeps saying parsley where is it it's been put away parsley is my favorite seasoning not at all it's just parsley goes more or less with anything if you want to know my favorite seasoning is some no <laughs> i'm kidding if you want to know my favorite seasoning it's basil I, I love i love to put basil in everything but like I said, I don't. I put parsley in because I know parsley goes with most, most, most things. But my favourite one is basil. So, all oh, you're saying parsley's a favourite, you got wrong, it's basil. So, just remember that. And that's it, wait, it's 10 minutes in oven. Oh God, it looks just like mine did first time. <clears throat> So I'm going to put some, I've even got a bit of green, <laughs> on my soup plate, yes that's my soup plate, I just, no I just put a bit on because I will end up eating the lot, uh, so I'm going to leave that to cool a bit, <laughs> there's probably end up much more on here by the time, I, uh, by the time it cools down, but yes I'm going to let that cool down because I'm not going to eat it red hot, not like I did the first time. Let my tongue so yes as you can see it looks awesome as if you don't mind me saying right i couldn't wait i blew on it hmm don't taste that minded probably not enough cheese but just oh, actually all it tastes is all i can taste is just broccoli <laughs> broccoli Probably because I just got the end of it, so there weren't much cheese on it. But I took some out of there. I'm gonna burn my mouth and now I am. Yeah. The cheese obviously wasn't as strong as they made out because uh mmm. Oh yeah. Cheese has just kicked in. That is nice, I will admit. Bit too much broccoli, I think, which I did say they were too much. But yes, um, with the cheese on, I think the cheese needs to be a little bit stronger than just strong cheddar uh, or whatever it was. Yeah, strong cheddar. I think it needs to be a little bit stronger. Probably pilgrim. That's um, quite nice. But yes, that's it lovely right as I said um, oh I mess this up every time there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise if you like what you see keys please oh, is this cool or it's, like it's right good stuff if you like what you see please keep viewing me if you want to leave me a thumbs up please do if you want to leave a comment and a recipe please feel free the more the mirror i am getting round to them all i am doing them all 
<clears throat> well, I mean, at the moment I'm suffering with a chest infection, so I'm going to try and get as many done until the actual chest infection gets worse. So we've done that. If uh, like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to leave me a comment, please feel free and let me out. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribing, get yourself subscribing, get everybody subscribing. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>